Windows 10 is Microsoft's latest operating system released in July of 2015 and which you may be noticing if you're watching this video, they are trying to ram down your throats. If you have a Windows 7 or a Windows 8 machine running, uh, you're going to be seeing incessant pop-ups saying, hey, let's upgrade. It's free, click here. I'm talking every time you turn your damn computer on, the thing will pop up. So why are they pushing so hard and obnoxiously for you to upgrade to Windows 10? The CMO of Microsoft recently went on record stating that people who are running Windows 7 do so at their own risk, at their own peril. He's citing security issues and flaws in older versions of the operating system. So in a new effort to get people to upgrade to Windows 10, Microsoft is getting a little bit more aggressive. Got up this morning, turned the computer on, started moving some files around, getting off the uh, SD cards after a project, and there was a pop-up that said, restarting in 15 minutes to install Windows 10. Of course, I am not on board with that. I'm in the middle of a project, literally. I X out of it. Evidently, that countdown continued in the background. Got up, went down, had breakfast, came back, and I saw this nonsense. Yeah. So it was in the middle of a shutdown process to install Windows 10. I was less than excited. And I mean, I'm not adverse to change. I understand things get better, new things come out that replace the old, but it's gotta be on your own time. It can't just be whenever Microsoft decides, hey, now you're getting this update, whether you like it or not. So while I was waiting for my computer here to finish updating to Windows 10, I went to my phone, pulled up Twitter, and threw in the search term Windows 10 upgrade and found I was not the only person who was extremely upset about these shenanigans. Now, how to stop this from happening? Two different ways based on two different situations. Both very important. One, if this has not happened to you yet, you're still running Windows 7 or 8 and you don't want this automatic update, there's a service online called Never 10. It is a free, I can't even say program because it doesn't download anything to your computer. What it does is, you give it access to make changes to your system. Now, in my experience, it is safe. I did try it on my editing computer. You don't download anything. It'll go into your settings and disable and remove programs and things like that that would allow Windows 10 to automatically update for you. You're not gonna see any more pop-ups at the bottom, which is very nice. And you're not gonna have that auto update baloney happening. Now, if you're like me and somehow found yourself staring at a screen saying, welcome to Windows 10, here's how to get around that. Ace33W said, I escaped the auto update to Windows 10 by declining the terms and agreement. If you want to keep Windows 7 or Windows 8, do just that. Microsoft, hashtag Windows 10. And at this point when I had read it, I had not gotten yet to the point where it asked me to accept the terms. So when that screen popped up, I very happily clicked decline. And then it asked, are you sure you're gonna go back to an old version of Windows? And I said, yep. I'm sure, thanks, but no thanks. So it took a bit, got my computer back up. I even had the windows open that I had originally had on there before it had taken over my computer and shut it down and restarted it. So I lost literally zero information doing it that way and, and having it confirm me back to Windows 7. And then you'll have a new screen opening saying that the latest update failed. Like that's a bad thing. Now that's not to say I will never upgrade to Windows 10. Of course I will, I'm going to do it probably another month or so. Now note, Microsoft is currently giving Windows 10 as a free update until July 30th, 2016. So yeah, I'll be, I'll be updating before that July 30th deadline. I've gotta be a little bit less busy before I go ahead and, and make that jump. So that's it, I hope you found that insightful, helpful, give you a little bit of background information. I will leave a link in the description below on the Never 10 site, so you can check that out and get that cranking before the update takes over your computer. And don't forget to hit subscribe. Every Tuesday, I have a new tip, advice, how-to, and every Friday is a vlog if you're into that kind of thing. Thanks for watching.